What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we've got a brand new release from LOL Miner with some pretty significant improvements. Now I'm going to get into those improvements but before we do, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so by the end of the video. So the time of recording right now is May 10th, 2023. And about 14 hours ago, LOL Miner released version 1.76. They claim to have improved performance on a lithium by up to 15 to 18%, as well as improved ironfish by 9 to 11%. Also have slightly improved performance on ironfish on AMD cards by roughly 1%. Slightly improved performance on Nexa as well by under 1%. They've also updated DAG repair tables for Octospace, ETHW, and Ethereum Classic to cover current epochs. And they've also added a new option, which is dash dash screen to enable a special mining mode in case a GPU is connected to a screen to prevent shuttering. So the value dash one activates this mode for all cards. Any value above or equal to zero will activate this mode for the GPU with the index equal to the provided number. So for example, dash dash screen zero will activate it for the first card detected by the miner. Special note here, it is in the nature of this option to cost some performance when used. At the moment, this option is available for ETHash AMD cards, Caspa on NVIDIA, as well as Nexa, Alephium, and Ironfish solvers. So, I've done some considerable testing on Ironfish mostly, and I've got some results to share with you, but before we get into the spreadsheet, I just wanted to take a look at a single 3070 at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So, on Ironfish, it's currently showing negative 2 cents a day in profitability, and then on Alephium, it's showing negative six cents a day in profitability. Now I'm currently at seven cents per kilowatt hour. So for me specifically, that would put me at an 11 cent per day profit on Ironfish, and then a seven cent per day profit on Alephium. I've gone through and tested a couple, well I should say three different overclock settings for Ironfish with the newer version and compared it to the older version. So, if you guys are new to the channel, then you probably haven't seen this format in my spreadsheets. So just to explain a little further, we've got a 3060 Ti, a 3070, 3070 Ti, a 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and now we have a 4070. So this left-hand side, we're going to be looking at LOL Miner version 1.75. And in this particular column here, we've got a core offset of 300 locked core at 1470 and locked memory at 1810. Now that does not apply to the 4070 which uses slightly different overclocks and in this particular case that is a locked core of I think 2600 and core offset of 340 with a locked memory at 810. And as you can see if we added up all of these hash rates this would be our total if this was one rig and then this would be our power for that particular rig and this would be our efficiency I've also gone through the trouble and added profitability and revenue at 7 cents per kilowatt hour as well as 13 cents per kilowatt hour and as you can see we have increased efficiency from 134.4 mega hash per watt to 146.7 mega hash per watt which is in line with expectations as far as profitability is concerned, you are going to be profitable at seven cents per kilowatt hour. This rig would produce roughly about 58 cents a day in revenue, excuse me, in profit, a dollar 40 in revenue. And at 13 cents per kilowatt hour, still producing a dollar 40 in revenue, but profitability is negative 12 cents. Now compare that to the newer version, and we're up to 73 cents a day in profit at seven cents per kilowatt hour or negative one cent per day at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, most people stick with the core offset at 300 with the locked core at 1470. However, if you're trying to get as efficient as possible, in some cases, using the locked core at 1305 is going to be your best option. 
And as you can see, our efficiency did increase over the 1470. So we went from 134.4 to 138.7. But that's looking at LOL Minor version 1.75. Now if we look at 1.76, we jumped from 146.7 to 149.5. And so using 1305 is a little bit more efficient, but I do want to point out the difference in some GPUs. So for example, um, there's a significant difference on the 3070 between version 1.75 and 1.76. But if we take a look at the 3070 Ti, it was actually more efficient on the older version than it is on the newer version. But in most cases, you're going to find that 1.76 is quite a bit more efficient. Now, what if you're not shooting for efficiency and you're just trying to garner a little bit more hash rate but sacrifice a little bit of efficiency? Well, in that case, I'm using a core offset of 300 here, but a locked core at 1605. And as you can see, efficiency does decrease, but our hash rate overall increases substantially. Now, as far as profitability is concerned, um, we're going from 54 cents a day in profit here to 59 cents a day in profit here. So efficiency wasn't necessarily uh, going to produce more profit. However, if we take a look at the newer version, 1.76, we went from 66 cents a day in profit to 76 cents a day in profit, which is considerable, but you know, it kind of all depends on what you're paying per kilowatt hour. So again, you know, if you go back to each individual GPU, it looks like 1.76 is going to outperform pretty much everything with these particular overclocks. So overall, uh, definitely a significant increase in efficiency on Ironfish specifically. Now, for some reason, I was not able to reproduce the same thing on Elephium, even though it shows in their GitHub to have a larger increase. And I'm not sure exactly what happened in my test here. It may be something that I screwed up. So... If you guys have different results from the older version, 1.75, if you would, leave some comments down below. I, I'm thinking what happened is I updated to the beta version, and it's applying 1.76 to all of my flight sheets. But I haven't confirmed that. But I'm just going to scroll through so that you guys can see what it looks like here. It does look like the older version on Alephium was more efficient. But again... You know, it may be something that I screwed up, so if you would, you know, confirm those results. Anyways, that is it for this particular video. If you would do me a favor before we get out of here, hit that like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.